Hi, happy Women's Day celebration to all our female colleagues that are IIT. I have the honor today presenting two extraordinary women from IIT West Africa, from the two ends of West Africa, from IIT in Abuja in Nigeria and IIT Freetown in Sierra Leone. Our two colleagues from IIT West Africa are Ijoma Animam, who is the Acting Station Administrator for IIT Abuja. Ijoma, through her work, she's been with IIT for over five years, and through her work she has been able to, she has shown her growth and the empowerment, which is part of what IIT does, to empower you, to provide you with the tools that will make women excel in their positions of leadership. Today she's, she's holding a leadership position at the station, and she has shown through the through the years that the opportunities are provided to her has put her on that space. The next is Aisa Tubeli, who is the station administrator for IITA Sierra Leone. Aisa too has been with IITA for over five years, and she also has grown into the position of uh, or in the leadership position that was provided has been provided to her. She has been able to do different trainings we offered to be, to sit in that position as driving and ensuring that the station is managed properly. I, they are two embodiments of what IIT tries to do when it was Dr. Sanginga promised that we were going to try to get gender equality and which we have. I am also an example. Opportunities have been offered to us and we also take make use of the very mentorship opportunities that we get. I would want to enjoy that today, 8th of March 2022, as we celebrate International Women's Day, where we're calling for um, gender equality for a sustainable future. We are getting to the point where we're having equal teams, have um, balanced teams from the younger cadre up, but there's still a bit of work to be done. Uh, we need to have more women in positions of leadership and providing the necessary mentorship and coaching for those who are going to step up. It's also important to recognize the men who have helped us along the way. It's not a one way, it's not a one, it's not a one way street, it's a dual carriageway. Both sides have come together to ensure that the other gender is also empowered, to provide the tools necessary for the other gender to also excel. This is German Imam from Abuja Station. I W D International Women's Day and Gender Equality Today for a Sustainable Tomorrow mean freedom for women to me. Women have not been allowed to exercise their rights how they want to. They have not been allowed to study to the length they want to. But today we see women study to the high position and head position so it means freedom for the woman to me affirmation from other women is very important because it has helped me to be able to come overcome barriers and succeed in my position the barriers i face in my career include not being trusted to handle positions to handle tasks but then I've overcome these barriers because I did not allow this, this to weigh me down. Rather, I tried to prove that a woman can do whatever a man can do even better. In the last 10 to 20 years, there have been improvements in the gender equality. This is because I've seen women who held positions all over the world. There have been women presidents in Africa. Women have held top chief executives in so many organizations. So there have been improvements in the gender equality. A role model that inspires me so much is Ngozi Okonjiwala. She has been at the, at the leadership positions in the World Bank. She was the first African to hold the leadership, topmost leader position in WTO World Trade Organizations. My message for young women who want to pursue a career in accounting or admin is that they should not feel that these positions, these career are difficult. They are not difficult. No matter any task they face, just like men can overcome and move forward. They should not allow those barriers to weigh them down. They should move forward and achieve what they want to achieve. Coming to science and agriculture, I'm excited that women are in these fields. This is because women are the ones who know the pains of mankind. So they will be able to understand how best to mitigate against any obstacles to achieving food security in the world. 
In the next 10 years, I see myself as a leader, encouraging other young women to come up and take up positions of leadership and succeed. In the one CG and the centers, I would like them to increase the topmost positions and include more women. There have been some percentage for women, but I would like them to henceforth make it an equal for men and women to hold positions. Hi, um, I have with me Isa Tubeli, who is the station administrator for IITA Sierra Leone. Isa too has been with IITA for over seven years and working in different positions, and today she's a leader in her right as a station administrator. So welcome, Isa too. Um, can you give us if, um, a, a few points on what IITA has done to ensure gender equity and women empowerment in Sierra Leone, especially activities from the station? Thank you, Ma. These are the things that IITA Sierra Leone has done to empower women. With the administrative management level, they have done well in recruiting women who have served in the position of station administrator, tech tree, post harvest officer, for, and giving them training to actually function well in their capacity to the point that even those who have left are still in gainful employment. Added to that one, they also helped the key partners, Larry, in training four PhD female students out of which now we have one in current governance. There are two at university as senior lecturers and one is in executive position with the organization. This one will interest you. The third one is out of the three country reps for the station that have served in time past, one was a woman, which was the head of the SAD SC project. And it happens to be the only one in the West Africa hub. Thank you very much. That's very interesting to know. Um, would you also share with us things that you've encountered at your station, and it could also be in your career, um, with regards to gender equality, challenges that you've encountered? For the challenges that we have encountered, the major one is societal mindset about women, that women are weak, and can't do it better. Another one actually, which has been affecting, but IITA is tremendously doing well is, some of the women have no level of education. Others have very little. Yet they are very ambitious women that if they had education in time past, they would have done it better than what they are doing. Another key one is that this will surprise you that we still have bullies among the male counterparts. So these are some of the challenges that we have had in time past. Thank you. That's very interesting to know that we, you're still facing challenge. But I have a question. We all know that Sierra Leone went through a bitter war and women were one of those who were most affected. Would you say women are better off today than before the beginning of the war? And why, why it's would a that? Big, it's a big yes. Because as at now, we have women in leadership roles. We have women undertaking businesses, private businesses. Some of them are breadwinners. So out of their businesses, they have been able to take care of their, their families. So it's a big yes. Oh, that's good. Um, that's good to know. And then we, what could you showcase the achievement of a notable woman? I know that you are a vice president of an orphanage. I know that when you were going to get that position. Um, can you please talk about women who showcase some achievement? Just give me one example. It can be any woman. It may be you, anybody. Like you said, I would like to use myself as a notable woman. Um, in the first place, it has started with my, my employment with IITA, who has actually trained me and that has helped me to even work as a lone staff for quite a long time. And that I am giving out to my society. Like you said, Sierra Leone has gone through war. And as a result, we have many vulnerable children and women. So that is helping me actually to work along that line, giving it out to children and other women to empower them so, so that we can make our society better. I have been able to do that 
because of the training that IITA had given me.